So here's the problem, you want to go fishing and camping and you only have a limited amount of freezer space. How do you store your bait during a week or two week camping trip without your bait going off and how to have the best bait available. So check out this video, we'll show you how to brine your bait and actually it will even work better because fish love it. We have brined some pilchards and some squid despite us having a heat wave and they smell just as fresh as the day I defrosted them. All right, let's brine some bait. So what I've got here is a, just a, a bucket that I bought from a hardware store. It's a four liter bucket and I will use this for brining my bait. I think four liter is a pretty good size. You can easily fit that in your car uh, somewhere on the side with all your bait and it has enough volume to hold bait you know for a whole fishing session or maybe even a whole weekend so i got a kitchen scale here so i know what i'm doing so this is frozen bait one kilo pill shots and just to top that off i also got a kilo of squid and i'm gonna brine them together I will make a nice a smelly brine you know the, all the flavors they can blend together and that's what fish love squid and you know pilchers oily fish i got some salt here this is just table salt here where we live you can buy table salt plain table salt or you can buy iodized table salt so i buy plain table salt supposedly iodized salt is not so good because it makes the bait bitter I'm not so sure about that. I normally use whatever salt I have, but uh, if I have the choice, I go for plain table salt. That's what I normally buy anyway. Got some baking soda. Baking soda is used to keep the color of the bait vibrant. If you don't use baking soda, your bait will lose a bit of presentation. And the salt, of course, to preserve and dry out the bait. So now the biggest question when you brine bait is how much salt should you use to uh, water. What is the salt concentration on the deadliest sea in the world? The Dead Sea is 33.7%, so very salty, and nothing lives in this uh, Dead Sea. And that's what I want to achieve. So I'm going to use 34% um, salt solution for my brine, and that should keep out all the nasty stuff and preserve my bait for a long time in here. I got 1.5 liters of water here. Um, I figure that's probably enough to, to submerge all the bait. To calculate this, you just have to take your volume, whatever you use, you know, gallons or liters. You just multiply that by 0.34. Let's put that on the scale here. And in it goes. Now, if you intend to store your baits for a long time, then use more salt, up to 100% salinity will keep your baits fresh and toughen them up for a long period of time. All right, so here we go. Got 510 gram of salt in there. And the ratio for baking soda. Let's see how much we got in there at the moment. So that's 46 gram of baking soda. I just use whatever I have. It doesn't really matter too much. I just chuck that all in there. All right, here we go gonna mix that all up a little bit and then I already measured 1.5 liter that goes in here and just gonna make sure to mix that all up nicely so you know all the salt is dissolved so the reason I prefer to use a wet brine like this you know you could chuck salt and baking soda directly onto your bait and let it uh, brine this way but it gets really leathery and really tough really quickly but if you put it in a wet brine like this bait does toughen up and uh, becomes a nice consistency but it doesn't really get super dry and super tough in this brine it keeps a really nice consistency for a long time Ideally, if you want to go camping and you don't have a freezer uh, for your bait or something like that, or you want to keep it like out on the boat for a couple of days or keep it in your garage for a little while until you go fishing the next time, this will last a long time in, in that salt uh, brine without the bait changing its, its consistency too much. 
all that's left to do is uh, put the bait in so I didn't even defrost the bait just the frozen package of uh, bait that I got here and uh, I'll just put that in this will also make the brine nice and cold from the frozen bait and now I just chuck the squid in as well uh, this is frozen solid as one big package so that's probably going to take a little while for that to defrost in here so I just chuck that in like this so yep yeah, got a nice bucket full of bait now and then in a couple of days we look at this again and we're going to go fishing with with these baits and see how well they hold up on the hooks you want to wait at least probably a day or two in this brine for these baits to turn into a really nice consistency for fishing you know so what i really like to do is when i go camping for a couple of days i just brine my bait and keep and i don't have to keep it in a fridge or freeze or anything it's always ready i don't have to defrost it before i want to put it on a hook or anything it's always ready in there i just have to grab a bait put it on a hook and i'm ready to go and it won't turn bad okay so that's what I wanted to show you, how I do it, the first step, and then in the next part we'll look at what the bait looks like after it's been sitting in here for a little while at different stages. Okay, see you, see you a little bit later. I'm just going to clean up this mess now a little bit. Alright guys, let's have a look at the bait after a couple of days. It's been in here for about three days now. Very good. Wow, look at this. It so, doesn't smell so bad. The pill shots are really nice now. They're still soft enough, but they're also hard enough that they don't break apart. Normally, if you would defrost the pill shot and put a hook in it, it would pull straight out. But look at this. That holds up really well now. And that's only three days of salting. It smells good. It tastes pretty good. Yeah, nice bait. And the scent of the different baits that I put in here, like the squid and the pilchard and all the other baits, they sort of blend up really nicely and give that an extra smell. So. We're gonna put that pilchard on some hook here today, here on the beach, and uh, have a look what happens. pretty big hook here and uh, gonna chuck on one half pilchard with a circle hook and see what we can if we can catch anything on that. I'm still gonna use some bait elastic just to make sure that it stays on during the cast. If you were fishing from a kayak or boat you wouldn't need bait elastic after the fish has been salted. Yes, uh, cast pretty good, stays on the hook. And yeah, the good thing about having the bait in your bucket like this is uh, once you're done fishing, you just close it up, take it back home, just leave it in the garage or on the boat, whatever, you know, until you want to fish again. Just don't keep it in the direct sun where it gets too warm, otherwise the bait starts cooking in there. But otherwise, it's just a simple way of keeping your bait fresh and ready to fish whenever you need it. So if you want to know the best fishing times and you want to save yourself some time to uh, go fishing when it's most effective, then come and visit us at fishingreminder.com. This is our website and we've been running that for 10 years. It predicts the best fishing times, fishing weather and tide times and everything you need to know for planning your fishing trip successfully so come and check us out guys all right see you in the next video